Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this custom time period slicer where if you select on current month, it will show you the current month data. If you select previous month, it will show you the previous month data that is from 1st April 2025 to 30th April 2025. If we select L3M, that is last three months, it will show data from 1st March 2025 to till date that is March, April and May. So I'm going to show you how to create this custom time period slicer in your Power BI report. Let's start the video. As you can see on my screen, I have this line chart which is sales by date and we have a date range slicer coming from the date table. Now I want to create a time period slicer for custom time periods. For example, I want to create for current month, previous month, last three months, last six months, rolling 12 months, etc, etc. So I'm going to show you how to do that. For that, let's create a new table. So I'm going to click on table tools and click on new table. Let's rename into time period table. Now I'm going to create a variable for a reference date from where the date will shift like current month from today. So let's say max date. So this can be today. So we can create the time period referencing from today or we can take the max of the order date from sales data. So return. I'm going to do union add columns calendar so calendar table calendar table takes two input parameters start date and end date in the start date i'm going to give start date of the current month so i'm going to say eo month max date minus one plus one which will give us the start date of the current month and uh, the end date will be max date so in the add columns what i'm doing is i'm taking a table as an input parameter so this is the table which contains dates now I'm going to add a new column saying time period and this will be current month. And if I close this, I have created a table using add column. This will have two columns. One is date column and second is time period column. So the output of the calendar date will, will be for this time period current month. I am going to add more tables like this. So let's copy it and uh, this will be for previous month so for previous month the start date would be the start date of the previous month so here it will be minus two eo month max date minus two will give us the end date of the previous to previous month and then we are adding plus one so it will give the start date of the previous month instead of max date i want to give the end date of the previous month which will be this this is the date range for previous month. Let's add, let's add for L3M that is last three months. So I'm going to add it minus three. So minus three will give me the, the three months before end date plus one. I'm going to say minus three. End date will be max date. So this will give us the last three months dates. And again, I will copy this and paste it. Now let's do last six month, which will be minus six, which will be minus 12. Let's close this. So what we are doing here is we are creating custom tables and doing union of these tables. Each table will create two columns and, and we are appending all these tables using union. So if I return this, let's go to the data view. Let's make this as date data type. So we have created the table. So we have created the table now. We are going to add this in a slicer. So let's copy this and take this time period column. Say select time period. If I select current month, nothing is happening. Why? Because this table, time period table, is not having relationship with sales data or date table. So let's create a relationship. So we'll go to the relationship model view. We have this time period table, date table, sales data table. Sales uh, table is connected to date table using the date column and order date column. We are going to connect this date table with the time period on date column. And this cross filter direction will be both. So this should be both because we want to filter using this date as well. Click on save. Now if I go to the report view, you can see if I select current month, it's showing the current month data that is from May. Now, if I click on last three month, if I select current month, it will show the current month date range. If I click on last three month, it will uh, show the date from 1st March. Last six months, start showing the data from 1st December 2024. And if you also want to sort this time periods, you can create another sort column on this time period table. So we can add a sort column here and give it as one for this and make it two. 
for this and make it three make it four make it five let's uh, sort this time period by sort by column sort it by sort column now if you see this current month is first then second then third fourth fifth we can arrange this time period as well so this is how we can create this custom time period slicer in power bi reports we can also add different custom periods like last year last two years last three years last quarter last two quarters so that was all about this video i hope you found this video useful and if you like this video do not forget to subscribe my channel till then goodbye and thanks for watching see you in the next video